memorial for him. George Smith's mother, Maureen, embraced and thanked dozens of neighbors for their support as they gathered to plant a tree in his honor Monday. She says if her son were alive, he'd be embarrassed by the gesture. He never, never, never wanted anybody to draw attention to him. He was just that type. He was just a very humble, private person. Family friend Ann Sem says with so much sadness surrounding Smith's death, she wanted to keep his spirit alive. I just wanted to do something positive, and, uh, and, and there's nothing more wonderful in the way of a tribute in my eye than a planting a tree. It's a very you know, beautiful green setting here, and um, we're, we're just really pleased since we don't have a grave uh, for George that we could come to the tree and, and think of him here. Town, state, and federal leaders took part in today's ceremony at Strickland Brook Park. Congressman Christopher Shays conducted federal hearings into the cruise industry following Smith's disappearance. Shea says the tree is symbolic of Smith's growing legacy. You know, things are out of the box, uh, and the cruise line industry can put them back in the box. Uh, the problems are evident, and they ultimately will be dealt with. And we're going to keep up what we're doing, because my son, need, we have to find out what happened to our son and my daughter's, my daughter's brother. Tom Appleby, News 12, Connecticut. On Wednesday, News 12 Connecticut will air a special report on the anniversary of George Smith's disappearance. In it, Smith's parents talk candidly about the cruise line industry, their lawsuit, and their ongoing dispute with their former daughter-in-law. It begins airing Wednesday at 5 o'clock.